With seven Harry Potter books, there are so many great characters, both good and bad. And today we're going to look at the first and last line of 60 different characters. So for this video, the rule is not the first time they're mentioned, but the first time they speak their first line of dialogue, and the same for their last line of dialogue as well. But if the character died, I'm going to go over their final words before death, as well as their final dialogue in the series. Obviously, because we're talking about character deaths, there are going to be spoilers, so there's your warning. Now, let's get the video started. Harry Potter. Responding to his Aunt Petunia asking if he's up, Harry's first line is, Nearly. And his last line is, I know he will. Responding to his wife Ginny, who said that Albus would be alright as he headed off to his first year of Hogwarts. Hermione Granger. Her first line while on the Hogwarts Express was, Has anyone seen a toad? Neville's lost one. And her last line was her talking to Ron after Ron told their kids to beat Draco's son Scorpius at everything. Ron, for heaven's sake, don't try to turn them against each other before they've even started school. Ron Weasley. When his mother tried to rub dirt off his nose, he said, Mom, get off. And his last line was responding to Harry's son, Albus, when he asked why everyone was staring. And Ron jokingly said, It's me. I'm extremely famous. Ginny Weasley. Her first line was responding to her mother when she asked what number the platform was. And the 10-year-old Ginny yelled out, 9 and 3 quarters. Although, I don't know why Mrs. Weasley didn't know the number 9 and 3 quarters. She had gone to Hogwarts herself, and at this point, she had been taking her kids there for 9 years. And the number 9 and 3 quarters never changed. But anyway, Ginny's last line was, He'll be alright. Saying this to her husband Harry as they watched their son Albus go off to Hogwarts for the first time. Draco Malfoy. When he met Harry for the first time in Diagon Alley, both being fitted for their robes, Malfoy said his first line, Hello, Hogwarts too? Starting off his and Harry's relationship sort of friendly, which might shock some people. Although, he did go on to be a jerk as the conversation continued. But his last line was him pleading with a Death Eater during the Battle of Hogwarts, saying, I'm Draco Malfoy. I'm Draco. I'm on your side. Neville Longbottom. Neville's first and last lines are some of my favorite in this video because they really show his transformation. His first line was on the Hogwarts Express, and he stuck his head out the window talking to his grandmother who was on the platform, saying, Cran, I've lost my toad again. Classic forgetful and pathetic Neville, but his last line shows how strong he became. During the Battle of Hogwarts when talking to Voldemort, he said, I'll join you when hell freezes over. Dumbledore's army. And this got the crowd of good guys to roar with excitement. Luna Lovegood. Her first line was responding to Ginny after Ginny asked how her summer went, and as Luna's eyes fell on Harry for the first time, she said, Yes, yes, it was quite enjoyable, you know. You're Harry Potter. And her last line was after the Battle of Hogwarts ended. To distract everyone so that Harry could slip away, she pointed out the window and said to the crowd, Oh, look, a blibbering humdinger. Sirius Black. His first line was actually a spell that he used in the Shrieking Shack. As he disarmed Harry and Hermione using Ron's wand, he yelled, Expel the Armus! And for his last line, I'm actually going to go over two of them. The first line was his last line while living. While fighting his cousin Belichick Lestrange, he laughed and egged her on, saying, Come on, you can do better than that. And seconds later, Bellatrix hit him in the chest and he died as he fell through the veil, the laughter at his final line still visible on his face. Then, two years later, Harry brought Sirius back using the Resurrection Stone, and when Harry asked his ghostly form if Voldemort and the Death Eaters would be able to see him, along with Lupin and Harry's parents Lily and James, Sirius said, We are part of you, invisible to anyone else. Albus Dumbledore Dumbledore's first line was on Privet Drive while waiting for Hagrid to bring baby Harry to his aunt and uncles, and when he saw the cat, who he knew to be his animagus friend, he said, Fancy seeing you here, Professor McGonagall. And like Sirius, I'm going to go over multiple final lines, three to be exact. The first was his final living line. When he was faced with Snape, he said, Severus, please. Right before Snape killed him. I've always wondered if Dumbledore thought about this line beforehand and practiced it, because he was straight up acting. He was trying to sell that Snape was a Death Eater not working for him, and all things considered, I think his acting was pretty good. And now his final line in the afterlife. After Harry was hit with a killing curse in the Forbidden Forest and went to see Dumbledore, Harry asked if all of this was real or if it was just happening inside his head, and Dumbledore replied saying, Of course it is happening inside your head, Harry, but why on earth should that mean that it is not real? 
And then we have one final line for Dumbledore, this time from his portrait, which some people might count and others might nod, but I'm gonna put it in just so people don't get mad at me in the comments. When Harry told Dumbledore's portrait that he was going to keep Ignotus Peveril's gift, meaning his invisibility cloak, Dumbledore's portrait said, But of course, Harry, it is yours forever until you pass it on. Severus Snape For his first line, he was taking role on Harry's first day, and when he got to Harry's name, he paused and said, Ah yes, Harry Potter, our new celebrity. And we're gonna go over two of his final lines. First, we have the one seconds before he died, and he said to Harry, which was Snape basically seeing the eyes of the woman he loved, who Harry had inherited his green eyes from. The film later added the line, You have your mother's eyes. Which they sort of had to, because the book describes how Harry's green eyes found Snape's black eyes, and there's no good way of showing that besides having Snape come out and say it. That being said, I actually prefer the movie's final line to the book. Then we have his actual final line in the series, which was actually in a flashback. Dumbledore's portrait had told him to give the Sword of Gryffindor to Harry, and he recommended not to be seen, and Snape said, Don't worry, Dumbledore. I have a plan. Fred Weasley Fred's first line was him messing with his mother, making her think she mixed himself and his twin up, saying, I'm not Fred, I'm George. Honestly, woman, you call yourself our mother. And his final line was during the Battle of Hogwarts. After he had just made up with his brother Percy after being at odds for the last few years, Percy made a joke, and Fred said, You're joking, Purse. You actually are joking, Purse. I don't think I've heard you joke since you were... And just then, the wall next to them exploded, killing Fred instantly. George Weasley His first line was on platform 9 and 3 quarters, and seeing Harry struggling with his trunk, he said, Want a hand? And his final line was right before the Battle of Hogwarts, where he said, Now let's get upstairs and fight, or all the good Death Eaters will be taken. Percy Weasley Percy's first line was also on platform 9 and 3 quarters, and he said, Can't stay long, mother. I'm up front. The prefix have two compartments to themselves. And his last line occurred right after the death of his brother Fred. He saw the Death Eater responsible for the explosion that killed Fred, and he yelled, Rookwood! As he pursued the Death Eater. Molly Weasley her first line was in King's Cross Station, and as she led her kids to Platform 9 and 3 quarters, she yelled out, Packed with muggles, of course. And her final line was right before she killed Bellatrix. You will never touch our children again. <laughs> Arthur Weasley. His first line was returning from work. What a night. Nine raids. Nine! and his last line was a worried Mr. Weasley during the Battle of Hogwarts. Harry had asked him where Ron and Hermione were, and he said, Haven't you found? But he was cut off by Kingsley. Thankfully, Mr. Weasley later found out that his son and Hermione were alright. Charlie Weasley His first line was in the fourth book when he met Harry for the first time. How are you doing, Harry? And his last line was actually him singing while at his brother Bill's wedding alongside Hagrid and another old wizard. Oh no, the hero. Bill Weasley Bill's first line was making fun of his brother Percy's worthless work after Percy told his siblings to keep it down. He sarcastically said, Sorry, Perse. How are the cauldron bottoms coming on? And his last line was right before the Battle of Hogwarts when his younger sister wanted to help in the fight. Mom's right, Ginny. You can't do this. Everyone underage will have to leave. It's only right. Rubius Hagrid His first line was responding to Dumbledore after he asked where he got the flying motorbike. Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. Young Sirius Black lent it to me. And his final line was during the Battle of Hogwarts. In the book, there was a slightly different order of events. After Neville made his speech, this is when he killed Nagini. And once he did, Harry did not reveal himself like he did in the film, but rather got up and put on the invisibility cloak. And this is when Hagrid uttered his final line in the series. Harry! Harry! Where's Harry? Peter Pettigrew. His first line was in the Shrieking Shack after he was revealed to be Scabbers. S serious R Remus? My old friends. And his final line was seconds before his magical hand killed him. When he entered the cell where Harry and Ron were, he said, Stand back. Stand away from the door. I am coming in. Fleur Delacour. Her first line was during the feast the night her school arrived to Hogwarts, and she went over to the Gryffindor table and said, Excuse me, are you wanting the bouillabaisse? I'm sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. I really tried. And her last line, which was directed toward Lupin about his and Tonks' newborn baby. Ooh, does he look like? 
referring to whether Teddy Lupin looked more like Lupin or Tonks. Minerva McGonagall. Her first line was actually responding to Dumbledore's first line after he identified her in her cat form and she said to him, how did you know it was me? And her final line, which might be one of the most simple yet most powerful lines on this list. When she saw the supposedly dead Harry in Hagrid's arms, she screamed, no! And Harry thought to himself that this scream was terrible because he never dreamed McGonagall could make such a sound. Voldemort slash Tom Riddle. His first line was when he was on the back of Quirrell's head, and he gave Quirrell an order when trying to get the stone, saying, Use the boy. And his final line was, Havana Kedavra, as he waved his wand for the last time when dueling Harry at the end of the Battle of Hogwarts. Bellatrix Lestrange. Her first line was during a trial for torturing Alice and Frank Longbottom, and after being sentenced to life in Azkaban, she screamed at the man who gave her that punishment, saying, the Dark Lord will rise again, Crouch. And her final line was during her fight with Molly Weasley. What will happen to your children when I've killed you, when mommy's gone the same way as Freddy? Remus Lupin. His first line was when the Dementors boarded the Hogwarts Express, and as Harry and company were talking in the dark, Lupin yelled, Quiet. And his final line was when Harry brought him back using the Resurrection Stone. When Harry said he was sorry he died right after having a son, Lupin said, I am sorry too. Sorry I will never know him, but he will know why I died and I hope he will understand. I was trying to make a world in which he could live a happier life. Nymphadora Tonks. Her first line was when she was part of the advance guard to pick up Harry. When they entered the Dursleys, right before she lit her wand for light, she said, Why are we all standing in the dark? And her last line was during the Battle of Hogwarts. She desperately asked, Have you seen Remus? When she was told he was dueling Dolohoff, she ran after him. And as we know, that was the fight that took Lupin's life. And not long after that, Bellatrix took Nymphadora's life. Cho Chang. Her first line was in the third book during a Quidditch match. Just as Harry was about to catch the snitch, she saw what she thought were three Dementors coming their way. And she screamed and pointed saying, Oh! It turned out to be Draco and a few Slytherins though. And her final line was when they were discussing the lost diadem before the final battle started. And she said, If you'd like to see what the diadem's supposed to look like, I could take you up to our common room and show you, Harry. Ravenclaw's wearing it in her statue. Dudley Dursley. His first line was on his birthday, referring to the number of his presents. 36! That's two less than last year! And his final line was right before he left, and right after he thanked Harry for saving his life, saying, See you, Harry. Vernon Dursley. He said his first line after a one-year-old Dudley had a temper tantrum, and after Dudley threw his cereal at the wall, Vernon laughed saying, <laughs> little tyke. And his last line was right before he left with two wizards who were protecting him. Are we going or not? I thought we were on a tight schedule. Petunia Dursley. Her first line was a response to her husband Vernon after he asked if she had talked to her sister lately, and Petunia said angrily, no, why? And her last line was to Harry before she left for the final time. Well, goodbye. Oliver Wood. His first line was a response to McGonagall saying that she had found him a seeker in Harry. Are you serious, Professor? And his final line was during the final battle. As he and Neville were carrying a dead Colin Creevy to the Great Hall with the other fallen warriors, Oliver said, You know what? I can manage him alone, Neville. A very sad and disturbing line if you really think about it. Gellert Grindelwald. So for this one, we're going to start with the Fantastic Beasts films, because though the eight movies are not canon, the Fantastic Beasts films actually are, as there is no prior source material. It is the source material. It gets very confusing, but moving on. His first line was when he was disguised as Graves. After the president said that the recent attack was done by Grindelwald, who she didn't know was right in front of her, Grindelwald said, I was there. This is a beast. No human could do what this thing is capable of, Madam President. His final line was seconds before his death. Voldemort had come to him asking where he could find the Elder Wand, and Grindelwald refused to tell him, saying, Kill me then. You will not win. You cannot win. The wand will never, ever be yours. And those turned out to be his final lines before Voldemort killed him. Dobby. Dobby's first line was, Harry Potter. And interestingly, his final line was the same thing. As he died, he said, Harry Potter. Lucius Malfoy. His first line was to his son Draco when they entered Borgen and Burke, and he said, 
Touch nothing, Draco. And his final line was a terrified Lucius in front of Voldemort. When Voldemort asked him to fetch Snape, he said, Snape, m my lord? Lucius' first and last lines really show his transformation, but it's the opposite of Neville. We see him start out confident and cocky, and then we see this desperate and pathetic man terrified of the situation that he put himself in. Narcissa Malfoy Her first line was when she was being chased by her sister Bellatrix as Narcissa was on her way to get help from Snape, and on the way she said, Go back, Bella. And her final line was uttered right after she realized Harry wasn't dead. She, however, lied to Voldemort so she could get back to her son Draco and said, He is dead. Lily Potter Lily's first line in the series was right after she came out of Voldemort's wand in the fourth book, and she looked at Harry and said, Your father's coming. Hold on for your father. It will be alright. Hold on. And for her final line, we're going to go over two of them. First, her actual final words before Voldemort killed her. Not Harry, please. Have mercy. Have mercy. Not Harry. Not Harry, please. I'll do anything. And years later, when Harry revived her with the Resurrection Stone, her final line was directed at her son, and she said, You've been so brave. This is the perfect final line, but the movie added another line on top of this, making her final line be, Always. Which I always loved, because it matched Snape's famous line when asked about his love for Lily. James Potter James' first line of dialogue was him saving Harry after he came out of Voldemort's wand, and seconds before saving his son, he said, when the connection is broken, we will linger for only moments, but we will give you time. You must get to the port key. It will return you to Hogwarts. Do you understand, Harry? And like Lily, we're going to go over two of his final lines. First are his final words before Voldemort ended his life. Lily, take Harry and go. It's him. Go. Run. I'll hold him off. And his final words in the afterlife. When Harry asked his father if he would stay with him, James responded saying, Until the very end. Alistair Mad-Eye Moody Moody actually didn't have a single line of dialogue in the Goblet of Fire, as most of the time it was Barty Crouch Jr. disguised as Moody. The film actually did have a line for the real Moody at the end. I'm sorry, Albus. But in the book, he was too weak to say anything and basically passed out, so he never spoke. His first actual line of dialogue was in the fifth book. When he was at the Dursleys picking up Harry, Harry called him Professor, and he said, I don't know so much about Professor. Never got round to much teaching, did I? And his final line was right before the Battle of Seven Potters, where we all know Moody lost his life. He said, Good luck, everyone. See you all in about an hour at the burrow. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Mundungus Fletcher. His first line was in the fifth book. After he had gone off guard duty for Harry and allowed Dementors to attack him, he apparated in and said to Mrs. Fig, Stop, Figgy. What happened to staying undercover? Something that obviously infuriated Mrs. Fig. And his final line in the book series was actually in a flashback. After getting confronted by Snape, Snape told him to pitch the Seven Potter plan as his own, and Mundungus said, I understand. Kingsley Shacklebolt. His first line was the first time he met Harry, and he said, yeah, I see what you mean, Remus. He looks exactly like James. And his final line was when he was taking charge before the Battle of Hogwarts started. All right, leaders up here and we'll divide up the troops. Argus Filch. Filch's first line was to his cat Mrs. Norris when looking for Harry and Ron after Draco had set them up for the midnight duel. Sniff around, my sweet. They might be lurking in a corner. And his final line was right before the Battle of Hogwarts. When McGonagall told him to fetch Peeves the Poltergeist, his longtime enemy, Filch responded saying, P Peeves? Dolores Umbridge. Her first line was during Harry's hearing, and she said, I'm sure I must have misunderstood you, Professor Dumbledore. So silly of me, but it sounded for a teensy moment as though you were suggesting that the Ministry had ordered an attack on this boy. And her last line of the series was her lying about Slytherin's locket. The S stands for Selwyn. I am related to the Selwyns. Indeed, there are few pureblood families to whom I am not related. A pity that the same cannot be said for you. Parents profession, greengrocers. Lavender Brown. Lavender played a part in the first two books, but she didn't have an actual line of dialogue until the third book. When standing up for Trelawney, who was her favorite teacher, she pointed out how one of her predictions had come true, saying, But what about Neville's cup? Which Trelawney had correctly predicted would break. 
Like the early books, Lavender played a part in the seventh book, but again, she did not have any lines. Her final line was actually in the sixth book. When she saw Ron and Hermione emerging from the boys' dormitory, she said jealously, What are you doing up there with her? Sybil Trelawney. Her first line was her greeting Harry's class on the first day, and she said, Welcome. How nice to see you in the physical world at last. And her final line was during the final fight. After seeing the werewolf Greyback go after one of her favorite students, Lavender, she dropped the crystal ball on his head and said, I have more. More for any who want them. Here! And she sent more crystal balls flying. Winky. Her first line was in response to Harry thinking she was Dobby, and she said, Did Sir just call me Dobby? And her final line was hysterical screaming as Barty Crouch Jr. revealed that he killed his father. And Winky, who was loyal to the Crouch family for her whole life, screamed, No, Master Barty! Master Barty, what is you saying? Creature. His first line was him muttering to himself in number 12 Grimmauld Place about Molly Weasley and the Order. Smells like a drain and a criminal to boot, but she's no better. Nasty old blood trader with her brats messing up my mistress's house. Oh, my poor mistress. If she knew, if she knew the scum they've let in her house, what would she say to old creature? Oh, the shame of it. Mudbloods, werewolves, traitors and thieves. Poor old creature. What can he do? Creature's final line perfectly shows the transformation that the house elf makes. During the Battle of Hogwarts, he led the House Elves from the Hogwarts kitchens into battle and screamed, Fight for my master, defender of House Elves. Fight the Dark Lord in the name of Brave Regulus. Fight! Body Crouch His first line was in response to Ludo Bagman telling him to lighten up at the Quidditch World Cup, and Crouch responded saying, No thank you, Ludo. His final line before he was killed by his son Body Crouch Jr. was set in madness as he was fighting the Imperious Curse. He grabbed Harry and said, Don't leave me. I escaped. Must warn. Must tell. See Dumbledore. My fault. Oh, my fault. Bertha, dead. Oh, my fault. My son, my fault. Tell Dumbledore. Harry Potter, the Dark Lord, stronger. Harry Potter. Body Crouch Jr. His first line was actually when he was disguised as Mad-Eye Moody at Hogwarts. After Malfoy tried to hit Harry with his back turned, Moody turned him into a ferret and said, Oh, no you don't, laddie. And his last line before getting the Dementor's kiss was, My master's plan worked. He has returned to power, and I will be honored by him beyond the dreams of wizards. Cedric Diggory Cedric's first line was uttered when he was introduced to Harry, Hermione, Mr. Weasley, and the youngest of the Weasley family, and he simply said, Hi. Before he died, he did not have time to say anything, though in the film they did have him ask Pettigrew who he was and what he wanted, but that never happened in the book. His last line was actually uttered after he had been killed. When he came out of Voldemort's wand during the duel between Harry and Voldemort, he spoke to Harry saying, Harry, take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my parents. Dean Thomas Dean's first line of dialogue was during a Quidditch match. After Marcus Flint knocked into Harry on purpose, Dean yelled, Send him off, ref. Red card. Showing his muggle upbringing and love for soccer very clearly. His last line was right before the final battle as everyone was making their way to the Great Hall. And as he held Luna's hand helping her up the steps, he said, Come on, Luna. Seamus Finnegan. Seamus' first line was directed at Nearly Headless Nick. And he said, Nearly Headless? How can you be nearly headless? Like this. And his final line was directed at his best friend Dean, who he hadn't seen in some time. And when Dean returned to Hogwarts after not being there all year for the battle, Seamus said, You haven't got a wand? Not the best final line of the video, but... Horace Slughorn His first line was, Ouch! As Dumbledore poked him with his wand while Slughorn was in disguise. And his final line was right before the final battle. McGonagall told him to get his students, who were Slytherins, as Slughorn was the head of Slytherin House. And McGonagall told Slughorn that if any of his students, or even himself, show resistance, then she and everyone else would duel to kill. Slughorn's shocked response and final line in the series was, Minerva! Andromeda Tonks She wasn't in the movies, but she was Nymphadora Tonks' mother. Her first line was during the Battle of Seven Potters, when Harry and Hagrid crashed at their house on the flying motorbike. She saw them and said, They've crashed, Ted. Crashed in the garden. 
and her final line was, What happened to our daughter? Hagrid said you were ambushed. Where is Nymphadora? Ted Tonks Ted Tonks, who I'm sure you guessed is Nymphadora's father, had his first line right before Andromeda's first line. After Harry and Hagrid crash-landed in their garden, he said, Who's there? Is it Potter? Are you Harry Potter? And the final line we heard Ted say before he was killed by Snatchers was in response to a man named Dirk who he was on the run with. Dirk said that there was a good chance the Ministry had caught and killed Harry, and a worried and distressed Ted murmured, Ah, oh, don't say that, Dirk. Gilderoy Lockhart Lockhart's first line was during his book signing, and when he saw Harry, he said, It can't be Harry Potter. And his final line was in the fifth book. After having his own memory charm backfire on him, he was in St. Mungo's hospital in a horrible state with almost no memory. Harry and company saw him in St. Mungo's, and after pulling their focus away from Lockhart, Lockhart, who was struggling to learn how to write his signature, said angrily, Look, I didn't learn joined up writing for nothing, you know. Fenrir Greyback The vicious werewolf's first line was on the astronomy tower moments before Dumbledore's death. He said, Pleased to see me, Dumbledore. And his final line was in Malfoy Manor. As he was locking Ron and Harry up, he spoke to Ron about Hermione, saying, Reckon she'll let me have a bit of the girl when she's finished with her? I'd say I'd get a bite or two. Wouldn't you, Ginger? Cornelius Fudge His first line was when he came to Hagrid's cabin to arrest him over the Chamber of Secrets opening. Bad business, Hagrid. Very bad business. And his final line was to the Muggle Prime Minister. When the Muggle Prime Minister was told of the Dark Wizards taking over, he said that Fudge could stop it because he could do magic. And Fudge responded with his final line in the series, saying, The trouble is, the other side can do magic too, Prime Minister. Quirinus Quirrell Quirrell's first line was when he met Harry. What? I can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. And his final line, moments before he died, was, Master, I cannot hold him! My hands! My hands! Phileas Flitwick Flitwick's first line was in the first book, speaking to Harry and Draco, when he said, Not arguing, I hope, boys. And his final line was in response to Harry asking him if he knew where the lost diadem of Ravenclaw was. And he said, Seen it? Nobody has seen it in living memory. Long since lost, boy. Colin Creevy his first line was, All right, Harry, I'm, I'm Colin Creevy. And though he was mentioned in the sixth and seventh book, his final line of actual dialogue was in the fifth book. Right after McGonagall was badly injured in a fight against a few Aurors under Umbridge's command, he said, They carried her back up to the castle. We watched through the dormitory window. She didn't look very well. And finally, Griphook. His first line was in the first book. In response to Hagrid asking if they could go more slowly on the card, Griphook said, one speed only. And his final line was betraying the trio as he yelled to the other goblins, Thieves! Help! Thieves! And there you have it, 60 Harry Potter characters' first and last words. A lot of these have deeper meaning, some are just interesting, and others truly show how these characters have transformed and developed. Dialogue is always fascinating to look at, and this is especially true with the Harry Potter series. Thank you so much for watching guys. You can follow me on social media to see more of my personal life and more of this little dude. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. I want to give a huge shout out to all my patrons listed below. If you want to be featured on the next video, plus get a bunch of other rewards, become a patron today. Again, thank you so much for watching and look out for more great Movie Flame videos on the way.